I am just going to quickly walk you through the steps of doing a super easy at home chemical peel. Uh, this is not going to be as intensive as what you would be receiving with your professional. So it's in no way intended to take completely take the place of professional treatments. But um, if you get the go ahead and the green light from your esthetician, I would always recommend a skin consultation, even if that's just virtually uh, before attempting something like this. Um, just to make sure that you are on the right formula, that it's the right combination of products for your skin and that we're not going to do anything too intensive. But this is a great way to layer some products um, and a super affordable way to keep up with your treatments. So let's get started. Um, I have already prepped my skin for everything. So this video should be pretty short. We're going to go right into the chemical peel itself. Um, but just to quickly kind of walk through the products that I use leading up to because this is a very important part. Um, I did do actually a triple cleanse on my skin tonight because I had makeup on when I started. So the first thing I did was I used the Sensitive Skin Cleansing Oil from BioElements. Dry skin, um, dry hands, dry skin, applied that all over, massaged it in for about 30 to 45 seconds, brought in a little bit of water to emulsify, and then rinsed that clean with tepid water. The next two cleanses I did was with the Urban Undo um, Cleanser from also from BioElements. Um, this one is one of my favorites. I tell people to treat this kind of like a clarifying shampoo for your hair. Um, so it's for some clients, especially an oilier skin client, or if you work in a, a really like greasy environment, think like fast food, uh, food service, if you're outside, if you work outdoors, anything like that. Um, if you lifeguard, anything like that, this is going to be great for you to use every night. If you're a little bit more dry skin, um, you know, or you were just trying to get your skin prepped, the Urban Undo is awesome. Um, if you are on our acne treatments, another affordable option for you and safe option would also be to prep with our Ultra Gentle Cleanser. Whatever you do, you want to make sure that you use something that is going to help to degrease the skin um, without over drying it. So I've done, in my case, a triple cleanse. If I didn't have makeup on, I still would do a double cleanse and you definitely want to use something a little foamy, but no sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, the next product that I'm going to use, because I am acne prone, and so I use all of our acne products at Amelia Gray, which is from Face Reality, um, except for those couple, actually I've got a few bio products in here tonight, but um, I'm going to prep my skin next with a toner from Face Reality. So in my case, I'm using the Calming Facial Toner, and I'm just applying that a little bit to a cotton ball, because that's all I have at home. A cotton round is going to use a lot less product, and I'm going to swipe all over the skin. And that's just to make sure that we've removed every single trace and bit of residue from the cleanser that we used. And start at the forehead, and I'm just going to work all the way down the neck. All right. Now, I would recommend, I don't always recommend this, but I would recommend letting your toner kind of, you know, chill and hang out here for just a second and let it dry down. Normal skincare routine, I would not recommend that, uh, but since we're doing kind of an at-home chemical peel tonight, that's what we're going to be doing. So I personally like to recommend the Mandelic serums. Um, something that's interesting about acids is when you apply an acid, it doesn't matter the brand, it doesn't matter the type. When you literally layer your acids, though, it is like you are adding them together. Um, so what we're going to do, though, to make sure that our skin stays healthy and safe and we can continue with actives tomorrow, but just give it a little boost, um, I always use the Mandelic Serum 8% in my skincare routine. So that is what my skin is accustomed to. I'm combination skin, I'm acne prone, I do, I am prone to some dehydration, I drink a lot of caffeine and things like that, don't always get all my water in. So the 8% is kind of my go-to with the Mandelic Serum. So I am going to actually be bumping that up a notch and using the 11% Mandelic Serum. You can see it comes in a pump. Um, they also make this in a 15%. So if you are using the 11% at home, um, you could go ahead and bump that up to the 15%. It's very few. I think I have out of all my clients, I think I have two clients on Mandelic Serum 15% for their face, and they don't use it twice a day on their face. <laughs> so they could do this with their 15%. Um, normally we recommend two to three pumps of this max. Typically two pumps is adequate for any clients. I always tell people um, with this product, two pumps twice a day, it's gonna last you for two months. Uh, so most clients, two pumps is adequate, but for tonight's purposes, we're actually gonna be doing five pumps of this product. You can get by with four. I think if it's your first time doing it and you are stepping up a percentage, go with four. 
if I were using 11% every day, I would go ahead and do five. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dispense one, two, three, four, five. I know what my skin can tolerate. So that is a very generous amount of product. And I am going to start applying. Notice I didn't go here first, I went here first. <laughs> and you're gonna feel the tingle. It is an acid. Uh, you're gonna feel a burning sensation, and that is normal. And now we're gonna go into the forehead because we don't want this running and potentially dripping into the eye area. This is considered a gel, but it is a very thin gel, so it can be pretty liquidy in nature. And I don't wanna do a ton of massage with the product, but I do want to make sure that I have every area covered everything but we don't want to go inside the orbital bone you can feel that there so where it starts to dip in we're not going to go there and we're just going to kind of press and pat that into the skin and be very generous here now because it's a gel you're going to find that it's going to dry down pretty quickly we do want to make sure again for the sake of doing an at-home chemical peel we actually want to let this product dry down completely so the next thing i'm going to do is actually wash my hands with soap and water and the reason I'm doing this, you will thank me later, is because your fingers will start peeling. Um, if you do not do this, you'll be surprised. Okay, so I'm just gonna wash all that product off and break it down. And then I recommend waiting about five minutes or so after you have applied this to let the product fully absorb. And um, then you can go in with your night cream. Now, again, in my case, I'm acne prone. Aging is a secondary concern of mine, uh, just being proactive about anti-aging. I am 37, um, so I am developing some you know, lines and wrinkles. Uh, fortunately, gene pool and an oilier skin type, you know, when I was younger, is contributing to me looking younger now. Um, but I love the oxygenation from BioElements because it doesn't matter if you're oily or dry. If you are oily, you're, this is probably gonna feel a little bit heavy to you, but it actually does a great job, especially after something like this. It's a stabilized peroxide, so it will push the chemical into the skin more. Um, and then also that's very antibacterial in nature. It feels a little bit heavier, but you'll be surprised as it wears, um, you know, as you have that on your skin for a while, it actually will absorb really well. Um, it's loaded with linoleic acid, which is super important um, just for barrier repair as well. And that's actually a major problem with acne sufferers because we tend to strip our skin down a lot. We use a lot of actives um, or we're using something that's just too dry because we don't know any different. So it's great for anti-aging. It's great for acne. It's a great treatment product. It'll push the acid into the skin more. After this is set on the skin about five minutes, I'm just going to apply my normal amount of oxygenation and then I am ready for bed. You will notice, uh, uh, sometimes I call it a stingle. It can be a tingle. It can even be a slight burn. Um, if the burn registers if on a scale of one to 10 of like a five or more, go ahead and wash your face and wash it off. If your, your skin's not ready to do it, try again next week um, and maybe do one pump less. And then um, if it's not, you know, burning or if it's less than that, you know, if it's only like maybe a three or a four or ideally around a two and that only lasts for about 10 to 30 seconds, you're good to go. It'll keep subsiding and then you'll be set. So um, I think that's all you need to know. But if you have more questions, as always, be sure to hit me up and make sure to reach out to your licensed esthetician, whether that's myself, someone on Team AG or a licensed esthetician close to you if you're watching this video from afar and make sure that your routine is on point and that you're using the best products for at home. Thanks so much for watching.